Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers Group, a group of adult gamers with jobs and lives, but most importantly, passion for video gaming. Today we're going to take that passion to a whole nother level. I'm going to show you how to set up your very own dedicated server that you can run Ark Survival Evolved. One of the best survival games out there right now in my opinion. This is going to be ran on a Windows machine and I'm going to use Steam CMD to do this. So first things first, if you're going to host and play on the same machine, this probably will not work for you. You have to do other things to set this up and you can actually even do it from loading the game up and you can actually create your own server that way. So this is for a dedicated server that's going to be running constantly when you have it up um, and you're not going to be playing on it. So just as a heads up to get that out of the way, you do need to know how to forward ports on your Windows firewall and on your router or switch, whatever you're porting from, um, those generally have a built-in firewall too. So you're gonna have to be able to log into that and forward ports, otherwise people externally are not gonna be able to connect to your server. All right, let's get to it. First thing you need to do, if you don't already have Steam CMD, you need to go to Google, download Steam CMD. It's gonna be this link right here. You wanna click on that, and then you're gonna click on the Windows button and the link right here. You wanna hit File, Save As, hit OK. Go to wherever your files save at or download to, and you want to run this file. I recommend putting it somewhere easy for you to access. Um, you want to extract it, and wherever you put it, there'll be a folder. Right here, I have mine on my desktop. Uh, your folder should be somewhere, like I said, somewhere you can remember where to find it. I keep mine directly on the C drive, and I made a folder called Steam CMD, and I just dropped it in here. You will not have all these other files. All you'll have is the steamcmd.exe. That's all you're supposed to have right now if this is the first time you've ran it. Uh, if you've ran it before, then yours will look more like mine does. So what you want to do is you want to run it. It's going to download these files and it's going to populate your folder. Uh, it may take a little bit depending on your download speed. And once that's done, we're going to go to my website because I have all these files pre-made to make it easier for you. Guys, go to our website, maturemindedgamers.com. I will put a link in the video description. You're going to want to click on server files right here. I do ask if you use my files that you please be subscribed to me on YouTube and Twitch. That's my only requirement because these are my personal files and this is using my own Dropbox. Uh, so please hit that uh, subscribe button or follow button and help us. Uh, it's much appreciated. So what you want to click on for this particular server is the ARC Survival Evolved. Obviously click on that. It's going to take you to Dropbox. You do not have to sign in here. It may pop up and tell you you do. You don't have to. Just close up that window. And just click this little download button right here. Do a direct download. Hit save as. And then you're going to have these files right here. Arc survival and a zip file. That's what you want. I have it right here on the desktop. You're going to want to go ahead and extract all. Put another folder somewhere with the two files in it that I made. So the, to make this easier for you, and you can do this yourself if you don't want to download the files from my website. Um, the first one is arcserverupdater.bat. And what you want to do is you want to actually drag this folder, this file, into your Steam CMD folder. So wherever you put the Steam CMD.exe, this file has to be in the same place. And then right there it is. And then all you have to do, make it easy, all you have to do is double click on this arcserverupdater.bat and watch what happens. It actually opens Steam CMD logs you in anonymously and updates the server or downloads the server if you've never downloaded it before. So this is also how you will update the server. This was this is what is in this file if you don't want to download mine if you want to make your own just to show you guys real quick. All right and then once you have that downloaded it could take a while there's a, quite a bit of data there depending on your download speed but once it's done it'll auto close. Now if you look in your Steam Apps folder right here and then go to common then you should have a folder called Arc Survival Evolved Dedicated Server. That's what you just downloaded. Go into there. Go into Shooter Game folder. Go into Binaries. Windows 64, Win64. And then this is where you're going to actually put the second file that we downloaded. The start arc server bat. You want to actually copy this and drop it into this folder. It has to be this folder right here. And because it has to be the folder where the shooter game server.exe is. So when you drop it in, like right here it is, and this is this is what it shows you. You can edit it with Notepad. You're going to want to go in and edit your version. So open it up. Um, don't mess with this first part here. No, this is all fine. Where it says session name, that's your server name. You want to change this to whatever you want your server name to be. These are the default ports. These are the ports that you have to have open on your firewall and router that I talked about earlier. 7777 and 27015. 
You have to have those both forwarded. I would do them both in TCP and UDP just to be safe. If you can't get those forwarded, the server's not going to work for you. That's your problem. If people don't see your server and you can't connect, that's your issue. You don't have your, your ports forwarded correctly. Or you have another server possibly using those ports. That's why when you try to host a server and play, that's why it doesn't work. Because you're, you're, they're trying to use the same ports. And then you can also set your max players right here at 50. And then once you have all this set, just go up and make sure you hit File, Save As, and Close It. Or Save and Close It. The other thing you can change if you go into, uh, well, actually, first off, you want to run the server. So go ahead and double click on the bat, dot bat. It's going to start the server up and it's going to take a little bit of time, especially the first time you run this. It's going to create the whole world. It's going to generate a bunch of stuff. Um, you're going to want to sit here and wait and make sure it's completely done first. All right. Once you've waited a pretty good time and you see the you've got a couple more uh, text messages pop up here and the final one will say server mature minded gamers has successfully started. That means you're good to go. Your server should be up and running. If it doesn't say that and it gives you some kind of other error or something and something went wrong, then when you get to the number of cores for, uh, that means you are completely set up and running. You're good to go. You should be able to connect to your server and have fun with it. Uh, the other thing I want to show you, though, is you can adjust a few more settings. But before I get there, when you're ready to close your server, click on the window that it's in and hit Control and C together. And that will properly shut down your server. Uh, now, if you want to change a few more settings, like set a password or change some modifiers, you want to go back a folder here, two folders, and you'll see a save folder now. Go into there. This is your save world uh, that we just generated. You want to go into configs, go into win server, and you want to go to your game user settings.ini. And when you go in here, uh, you can open it with Notepad. I always recommend Notepad++, but anyways, you can use whatever you want. Um, you'll see some settings here. You can set your max players. If you didn't do it in the IGI, you can set your, or in your uh, dot .bat. You can also set your session name right here if you didn't do it in the dot .bat. So there's a couple different ways to set, to set things. Uh, there's a couple other settings you can change here. Uh, this is mostly for performance, like respawn, reaction, different stuff like that. There's not a lot in here that most people are going to want to probably mess with. Um, but you can look through it all and see if there's anything you want to, want to change. Then uh, server password is the next one I want to tell you, and the server admin password right here. These two, if you want to set a password, set it here. And an admin password, you probably definitely want to set that. And then once you're done making those changes, hit file save and close it. Okay, and there's one more setting I want to show you. You want to go back a couple more here. Go back three folders, and then you want to go into config. And you want to look at the default game user settings, the INI. You're going to want to edit this. This is where you can change um, player resistances, dyno taming speed, day cycle speed, all those fun, those fun factors. Harvest speed. So right now it's at one. If you wanted harvesting two times, you put a two there. And you want to make sure once you have this all set, you hit file and save. Um, and I think that's everything. I covered everything that's important. Hopefully this video helps you make your own personal dedicated ARC server for you and your friends to play on. Uh, all I request is that you please hit that follow and like button and help me continue to do these videos for you to make things as easy as possible and as quick as possible. All right, everybody, have yourself a great day.